sex for grades. Let's have a conversation with some students of the University of Ghana here in Accra on this episode of News Connect on City TV. My name is Kojo Ajman. Stay tuned. It's very good BBC took on this thing to do. It's very good because we, we should know that we are still living in a wicked world and it's serious. It's serious. Like, it's very serious. What do you make of um, students also making advances towards lectures for grades? I've spoken to some lecturers here and some of the students go as far as the homes of these lecturers and also text them shouldn't we draw the line okay well personally I've not seen any students go to a lecturer to like for improvement of grades or anything as, as such I've only heard and rumors can be lies some can be truth but well if it is true I don't think I think students should rather sit down and study because we all we are all here to learn to improve our upon our lives so if you would come and then go and see the lecture exchange sex for grades i don't think it's advisable so what i would advise my fellow um, students is that they should all sit learn and pass so that all these things because it's very heartbreaking to see all these things happen it's it's, it's just not nice and to your lecturers uh, male lecturers who sometimes make those advances towards you what should be done to curtail this? Because uh, there are ethics that they have to follow, but some of them break those protocols, resulting in this situation. If that is so, then you see, they are married men. Sometimes they will be having problems. So if that is the case, then students should not be emotionally attached to their lectures. They should rather see them as, um, let me say, their father. So that they go to them as a father and not as um, a boyfriend, excuse me to say. Right, so what can be done to amend these broken protocols regarding student lecturers relationship? Because it's, it's, it's very, very bad watching the documentary. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when I was also a student on campus, I mean, there were several instances where I heard rumors of, you know, so these lecturers harassing the female students. And uh, I mean, there was, there was a point in time where some of my friends, you know, I mean, they, they, they even had to defer their courses. Yeah, because there were several, the, the, the pressure that these lecturers were giving them was, was so much that they couldn't handle. The, the female students? Yeah, the female students, yeah. I mean, she, she was very close to me, so she was able to confide in me. Yeah, that the pressure that they were giving, that, that particular lecture was giving to her was too much. Yeah. So, uh, in all of this, mm -hmm. how can we stop this? I mean, so that the lecturers respect those protocols, the students will also respect those protocols. <laughs> well, I think that it all boils down to the, 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 the school's authorities, okay? Since the, the, there, is a, there is an anti-sexual policy on campus, I mean, I, I'm just hearing it now because of the whole hula balu about the thing, but I realize that there is this anti-sexual um uh, relation yeah yeah so i think um, it's it's all boils down to the fact that the, the the school's authorities okay should actually sit down and then discuss and then if if anything else so they should bring those perpetrators to, to to book yeah yeah and also you know we are blaming the lecturers but we are not i mean not forgetting the fact that some of these girls are also a part to be blamed because there be several instances where I've witnessed several kinds of indecent dresses that these ladies bring to the lecture room. And it's so appalling. I mean, you see nice girls, you know, I mean, exposing certain vital parts of their body. I mean, so, I mean, it's, 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 it's a, um, how do I put it? It's a two by two, you know, thing. The lecturers are to blame, but then the students are also to blame. So I think that, the student on their part should also make it a, um, um, a point to dress decently and then the lecturers also should be brought to book. <laughs> yeah. The university already has policies in place and I think affected students could go through the processes outlined in the policies yeah, and get 
themselves sorted out. You know, we were anywhere to the students, your advice from students and lecturers. Well, <laughs> I would say, um, students, we also have to protect ourselves. You know, we we shouldn't put ourselves out there to be taken advantage of. Because you said yourself, they had. And some go as far as text messages going to the lecturers' apartments and all of that. There are offices you could meet a lecturer, um, classrooms are there. So we also have to, um, we also have um, a part to play in ensuring that um, sexual harassment, I would say, can be kept in a way. Yeah. What was going through your mind as a hard working student when you saw that video? all right so as a student of course i should be concerned um this is not the best of practice whichever um category you find yourself and so aside the fact that it's been in this um, um, academia it could equally be in industry and so um to be sincere i wasn't so happy about it that uh, uh, what it brings to bear is that fairness hasn't been achieved whereby we have some people being given the opportunity to get an a or a b whatever in a course because um, they are having sex with some lecturers and um, myself when i saw it and then i posted it in the group someone said what about we the males you, you know aha uh -huh. so of course it's not fair so from where i sit um, that's how I see it. It is obvious from the video that um, the protocols guiding the lecturer-student relationship have been broken. How can we fix this? All right, so basically, um, we would want to, you know, um, the, in every organization, there are some sort of rules that governs them, and um, they've been broken, just as you said. But how well going forward are we going to ensure that these are going to make effective? And so I want to believe the university have policies on some of these things. Well, they tell them, they might not be working policies, but they just tell us. And so I think that the university management should sit on its toes. Um, our university has been dragged in the mud and then they should look at it. And going forward, those um, you know, who are found culpable should be brought to book to serve as deterrents to other people. And they should you know, have a look at whatever document they have that guides and governs these attitudes of some lecturers so that going forward we can record such incidences. Let's turn the table. We are now talking for lecturers. What about students who also make advances towards their male um, lecturers for such favors? Okay, so that, that, that is also not professional, of course, but um, we are all too steady to make grades. And I want to believe that this is something that the current youth are inculcating. Everybody wants a short way to make it in life, but I won't advise that. And so I want to believe that the peer counselings that we have in the university, um, careers and counselling centres, among others, should inculcate in us the fact that we should uphold ethics. And as students, we shouldn't always be about book 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 and look out for other avenues where we can do well and i think another gap is that the university does not award you know co-curricular activities other things you do outside what you do in the classroom but if we should also look at those things it will help a lot That will be all for this episode of News Connect on City TV. My name is Kojo Achman. Keep watching City TV.